Scientific matter here, Dr. Carl. We've talked about this before in our live shows. The science of breaking the seal. People will sometimes, if they're at a social function, they need to go to the bathroom and say, excuse me, I'm just going to go and break the seal, i.e. urinate for the first time at that social function. And keep on urinating all night long. Why is it you can go two hours before needing to do it, and then suddenly every 10 minutes, sorry, got to go, got to go, got to go. Right. It, it can't just take another 10 minutes to fill up. No, so what you've got to think of is a, a, a sponge, a perfectly dry sponge. It's 100% dry. It's, it's crinkly and, and, and hard, and, mm. and then you've got a tap, and you're dripping water slowly onto that tap. That's that's it. That 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 is the metaphor for you ingesting a little bit of... Alcohol, of yeah, or God's liquid, yeah, liquid, yep. And so it gradually the sponge goes from dry to moist mm-hmm. to then it gets saturated, yep. and then at around the two hour mark, you put in one more drop of water, and another one comes out the bottom end. Ah, because the sponge is holding as much as it can now. Every drop in has to be matched by a drop out. But then there's two more factors. Two more. It's not just every drop in is another drop out. Firstly, for every two hundred mils of beer you drink. 320 mils of urine. How do you get more urine than the beer that came in? You, The alcohol works on the anterior pituitary in the brain and it works on a chemical called vasopressin, also called antidiuretic hormone, and basically it says, this Adam needs to suffer tomorrow for having too much alcohol or I want to make him dehydrated. So you, for every 200 mils of beer in, that's 320 mils of urine out. So for every drop into the sponge, about one and a half drops are being created to come out. Yep. And then there's another factor, which is that when you're coming around to my place to have a beer night out. You don't yep. say, Carl, lay up those six big glasses of water. I'm going to have my way through these glasses of water. I'm going to drink my way. Oh, yeah. Whereas with the beer, well, you've had one, so of course you've got to have another one, and you just keep on going. Now, you end up in this weird situation where you are both dehydrated with not dark urine. Yes. And people say, hang on, I'm on a work site, I'm working out in the outback, or and I'm going on a run, and if I have small quantities of dark urine, I know that I am dehydrated. Yep. How can I possibly be dehydrated if I don't have dark urine? Yes. And the answer is, you've taken a drug which mucks up the normal natural order of your body. Ah. And so it ignores the fact that it should be pulling back. As you get dehydrated, you should be making less urine, and in fact, this drug says, ha ha, more urine and in fact by the way could have another beer at the same time there you go thank you very much Dr Carl and does somebody were walking around with cu- clutching a spear with a trim gut and wearing a cute fur mm, very big at the moment the paleo diet what are your thoughts sleep cakes